Hello students, how are you all? I hope that you people are preparing well for your tomorrow's paper that is a physics. So here we will going to see the uh, solution of one question. Uh, basically that question is taken from the CBC sample question paper for this uh, year that is 2024 board examination. I have already seen that uh, means many students will go in, used to face the problem in the LCR series circuit questions. Uh, so I have taken one question here that is of the AC current or the alternating current. Uh, so you can see the question that is given on the screen that is uh, question number 33a from the sample question paper of the 2024 so first two questions are given as a theoretical question so basically most of the students are going to solve the theoretical question properly because uh, uh, there is a usually a static theory portion used to be given there now uh, here we will going to see the solution of the numerical question okay so if i am not telling here the theor uh, answer of this uh, about two theoretical question but still if you people have any doubt you can ask me i will going to provide you the explanation for those two questions but currently we will we will going to focus on this numerical so that it will be easier for you to approach for that particular numerical if the same or similar or uh, we can say that uh, the question which is based on the ac circuit would be there in the examination so you can solve it properly so i will start to solve that question here okay so what is given here when an alternating voltage of 220 volt is applied across a device x so we can say that there is one device that is x you have to write the given properly in such questions and all so we have given one question that is uh, so we have given one device that is x so a alternating voltage of the 220 volt supplied basically this voltage used to be the rms voltage okay uh, so if you not clear with this concept so keep in mind that whenever we have given the ac circuit question or the lcr circuit question then the given voltage is usually as a rms voltage now this voltage is supplied to, to the device x now in this question uh, condition what happened a current of 0.25 ampere flows a current of g 0.25 ampere flows through that particular device that is x okay but that current current lags that current lags behind the voltage that current lags behind the voltage so a current of 2, 0.25 ampere flows through through it and it lags behind the applied voltage voltage by the phase by pi by 2 radian okay so we can say that there is a current i that is equal to 0.25 ampere is flowing through the device that is x but it is lagging behind the voltage by pi by 2 radian pi by 2 radian or phase angle now we will go further if the same now what is happening here is that the same amount of the voltage that is a 220 volt is also supplied to the another device that is y so i will write here another device that is y and the same amount of the voltage is also supplied to that particular device y but now the same current flows again the same current is also flowing so you can say that that is 0.25 ampere same current is flowing through the device y but now it is in phase now it is in phase so you can say that there is a zero phase angle zero phase angle in between the current and voltage in the second device that is y so now we have given the two sub questions we have to solve those two questions based on the given information which is provided in the question fine now first name the device x and y so from the given information we have to check what are the devices x and y are so you can see here in the x current is lagging behind the voltage in the x a current is lagging behind the voltage it means that that device will be the that device will be the inductor that device will be the inductor why because in the inductor we know that current lags behind the voltage by pi by 2 phase angle or uh, some uh, phase angle okay fine so here it is lagging behind the voltage by pi by 2 angle so device x will be the inductor now what is happening for the b sorry now what is for y you can see that in the condition of the y the same amount of the current flows but now it is in phase now it is in phase so you can say that what is the device in which the voltage and the current are used to be in the phase that is a register that is a register so device y will be register okay now we will go further so uh, this x device is inductor and y is register this is the complete answer of the first sub question now we will go for the second sub question so what is the sub question here calculate the current flowing through the circuit when the same voltage is applied across the series combination of x and y so what is given now there is a same voltage is applied to the series combination of x and y means what will we do here 
so what we have to do here we have to connect the x and y into series x and y in series so can i say what is x here inductor what is x here inductor and what is y resistor so i can say that it is lr circuit or inductor resistance circuit Now what we have to calculate? We have to calculate the total current that is flowing through the given circuit. So for finding out the total current that is flowing through the circuit, what I will require here? I will require the voltage and uh, that is impedance. Why impedance? Because now it is a LR that is inductance and resistor uh, AC circuit. So for that I will require the impedance and then, then by using the concept of the Ohm's law, I will find out V upon R. Okay. So now I don't know the uh, instant of R, we will going to find out the impedance here. So, for impedance of the LR circuit, R square plus XL square. Okay, obviously because we know that there is no capacitance, so we will not going to include the capacitance here. So, my formula will be only Z equal to under root R square plus L square. Okay. We will require the values of the R and XL. Now, uh, for calculating the R and XL, we have to go in the uh, given section that is given to us. So, from the given, we know that uh, basically the current and the voltage supplied to the both resistance and inductors are same. Uh, so, if I want to calculate the R, that is V by I. Now, we know that V was 220 volt and current was 0 0.25 ampere. So, after solving this, I will going to get the answer that is uh, near about, uh, I think, 8, 80 ohm. Okay, you can do it. Similarly, we can calculate the XL that is a inductive reactance. Basically, it can also be calculated from the given section that uh, to the inductor also we are supplying the same amount of the voltage and the current. So, again, it will having the same value that is 220 upon 0 0.25. So, again, it will have the same answer as that of resistance that is 880 ohm so i will going to put these values in the given relation that is for finding out the impedance of the R rl circuit okay then so i will write here 880 square plus again 880 square now it is a square of the two same thing so we know that basically 880 will come out of the root and it will become root 2 that is z this is a simple mathematical calculation that you know and you should know after solving that we will going to get the impedance that is 880 multiplied by root 2 okay so now, i have to calculate the current that is flowing through the series combination of the inductor and the resistor which are given in the questions so what will be my formula that is current uh, i know that it will be the rms current now it will be total supplied voltage that is 220 volt and divided by z so what is my voltage 220 divided by 880 root 2 okay 0 0 will get cancelled 11 2 is 22 11 8 is 88 or again we can say 2 by 8 multiplied by 1 by root 2 yes i know that again it can be divided simply so it will become 1 upon 4 root 2 or if we will going to rationalize it so it will become root 2 upon 2 that is 1 by 8 multiplied by I have rationalized the denominator that is root 2 so because of that there is a root 2 in the numerator and the denominator root 2 root 2 multiplied will become 2 so it is 1 by 2 and root 2 so the answer of this will be so we know the value of the root 2 that is 1.414 divided by 8 so we will get some answer that is 0 0.1667 ampere so i will write here that is the total current that is flowing through the given series circuit of the inductor inductor and cap and resistor that is 0 0.1767 ampere so this will be my final answer so what we have done in this question we have uh, just identify the first devices then we have just made the series connect uh, from that we got the impedance and then after getting the impedance we have calculated the value of the current that is flowing through the given series circuit that is equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन सिक्स सेवन एम्पियर आई होप दैट यू गॉट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन एंड यू कैन सॉल्व सम अदर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द ए सी सर्किट इन सच वे ऑब्वियसली देर आर लॉट ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अवेलेबल इफ यू विल गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर सम क्वेश्चन ऑफ द ए सी सर्किट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो यू विल गोइंग टू गेट द आइडिया हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व दट क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली एंड गेट द मैक्म मार्क इन द फिजिक्स पेपर ओके इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो और इफ यू गॉट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली देन यू कैन सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल और यू कैन शेयर द वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो सो इट विल बी इजियर फॉर देम टू लर्न द कंसेप्ट दैट इज बिहाइंड ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल ओके फाइन थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच